Hi there. I decided to use this method of video to speak to you about the creative planning that took for uh, this week task, at least for me. Uh, the option that I decided to do was uh, the slideshow and after quite a bit of thinking I decided to do it on biodiversity, something that um, I feel deeply connected with. I worked obviously in stages. Uh, once I had uh, the idea, the main um, subject, I kind of started making a map around it. So the first stage um, was about researching a bit more. So I've done quite a bit of reading on um, some magazines that have been collected through the years where uh, there were a lot of articles and also beautiful words about biodiversity on all levels. I looked at all the problems that we are facing today in our society, um, the declining of biodiversity in nature, in culture, in traditions, in education and languages. I started thinking about what I wanted to talk about, it, how to express all, um, all this. The second stage happened to be, well, while I was searching, I found this story, the story of um, Adams. And that um, it was a story that was told to this, uh, this guy who wrote an article. And I thought, oh, this would be really perfect to, to start off my slideshow. And um, I had to develop the story, obviously, because it was longer. So I used the same exercise that we did on the week that we did storytelling. So I looked at it and I started shortening and, and trying to really grasp the, the, the main part, the essence of the story. Um, on the stage three, I looked at the actual facts, um, talk about economic growth and the effect that has on, on the planet and on our society, um, monoculture, and this idea of sameness, it seems that now we live in a world where same is good. Um, obviously, um, pollution, uh, the destruction of nature and um, her resources and um, the role that the governments play. After that I went on to stage uh, four which um, it was like in the middle of, of the story and this became a reflection of where we are now so the actual the actual truth that we are living in. Stage five was the last part and it was about talking about or presenting some positive changes. Um, something that was humble and compassionate because there are solutions, but I think this is what was important for me, um, to be compassionate and humble, humble in order to create a better world to, to live in for us and, and the future generation. From there, I moved into the second stage, which was looking for images, because um, while I was uh, reading again through the script, I knew already what type of Im images I wanted to put on, and so I was kind of adding little notes in, in, my, in my map, in my mind map. And um, I started searching for pics on Google and on Flickr using the Creative Commons, and this work took a lot longer than I thought or planned. Um, I gathered all these um, photos and I put them in all separate folders so I knew what I was looking for, where to find them. I imported all the pics on iMovie when I was um, ready with everything and I put them already in, in this uh, sequence of the narration because that um, was making my editing easier. I, at that point, I recorded the voiceover, so the narrative part with iMovie, so I've done it directly, and I've done it over the images while the images were running. I don't know, I find that this way is a bit easier for me than trying to do the audio first and after add the pictures. I, after that, I made sure that the narration was coinciding with the right pics that I had in my slideshow. And um, last but not least, as we say, I selected a piece of music and I added to the slideshow. Um, I wanted the music to be, 
touchy. I wanted to be emotional. I wanted really to reach um, our hearts with that music and, um, and to help us also to deeply um, connect with the whole story. And that was it. Oh, by the way, this, I don't know if it's possible, maybe it's not very visible there, but that's how everything started. And uh, that's about it. Thank you.